today's video is going to be a shorter one. Um, it, it, it's, it's really a pretty simple video, not a whole lot of technicality to it or uh, terms or things you need to remember. Uh, today I just wanted to talk about warming up and kind of give like a general rundown of how I warm up. Uh, everybody's warm up is a little bit different, um, but before I go into the, the studio to play anything, uh, where I'm going to be playing for a long period of time, or if I'm going into the lesson studio to teach for a while, and I know I'm going to have, you know, a couple hours worth of playing, I like to get my hands good and loose, um, that it relaxes your muscles, uh, it, it relaxes your joints a little bit, and so, um, it, it's a it's a very important part of my daily uh, drumming, um, so it's something I wanted to share with everybody before I do any other videos on anything else. Um, I know I had a I had a list of stuff I wanted to do, uh, but I kind of felt stuck. Like I feel like there's something else I'm forgetting before I get into this other stuff, and th and this turns out to be it. Um, I I really highly encourage everybody to play. So every every time I have a student even come into the lesson studio for a 30 minute lesson. Um, I still have us warm up for a couple minutes before we do anything. So um, I'll jump right into it. Uh, the, the thing I like to do is get my hands warm doing something simple. So usually like single strokes. Um, and then I will add the single strokes into uh, a comp kind of a musical composition. And it's never the same thing. Uh, I tend to gravitate toward triplets just because I think they're, they're more fun. They make it a little more interesting, um, but I, I, don't, I don't try to do anything too hard right off the bat because the point of warming up is to ease your muscles into, into um, what it's going to be like to be playing. So um, I'm going to go through just kind of a quick um, rundown, probably a couple minutes worth of, of playing, and you'll, you'll just kind of be able to see how I build my warm up from something fairly simple. And then, and then I'll add it into, uh, like I said, into a, a bigger um, groove that involves more of, of the drum kit. And then that'll, that'll pretty much be it for today. I don't have a whole lot of content for, for this topic other than just showing you kind of how I warm up. So here we go.
get my hands good and warm. Um, I do like to stretch my hands a little bit. Um, I, I don't usually do it before I start playing. I don't know if that's counterintuitive or not, but that's kind of just always how I do it. Um, so there's a couple different stretches I like to do. Uh, the first stretch, once I, once I can kind of feel where the tension is in my, in my arms, if I'm feeling a lot, you know, up in this region, um, I can, I can literally just massage that out, uh, especially kind of right in here. Um, I, so I'll, I'll do a little bit of a massage kind of thing on my own arms. Uh, and then one of the things I learned back when I was doing marching band stuff, one of the stretches was for wrist stretching. So in this one, you take your, your sticks like this. So your one hand is this way. The other hand is opposite. It doesn't matter which one it is because you do it on both hands eventually. And then you just take it and you twist the sticks like this so that your hand is upside down. Now you, you want to do it slow, obviously, and you don't want to pull it too far to where it's painful but just enough that it's twisting up your muscles a little bit and kind of getting them stretched out. And so we'll do the same thing for the other hand. See how it's, it's kind of twisting my arm and my wrist and my elbow a little bit. And it's nothing, nothing that's gonna cause me pain, but it's just pulling, I can feel it kind of pulling those muscles a little bit. Um, and then another one I like to do is I like to take my hand like this, take my other hand and pull my muscle or my fingers back and what that does, it's stretching this muscle here, stretching all these, all these tendons and everything down in here. And again, you don't wanna do it to the point that it hurts, but when you start to feel that tension on there, um, that, that means it's stretching. So uh, I just like to do that for a couple seconds a piece on each of those. And then if I'm still feeling a little, a little weird, um, I might go back and play some more. Uh, usually that does it for me though. Um, but other than that, um, I don't really, I don't really have anything. Like I said, it's today is pretty much just a um, just a, a rundown of how I warm up. Um, and like I said earlier, it's never the same warm up. Sometimes I might just stay on the snare drum, um, especially if I'm in a lesson studio. There's not a whole lot of drums to play on in the lesson studio, um, like I have here, where I have lots of options on cymbals and everything. So sometimes in the lesson studio, it'd just be snare drum, bass drum, and maybe the hi hat and and ride cymbal, just going kind of going back and forth. Um, and then when I'm at home at, at, or or at a live gig, you know, I'll use what I have in front of me there um, to my advantage. I don't I don't always have to play every single thing on the kit when I'm warming up, but I, especially like reaching out to hit the crashes, I like to be able to stretch my arms like I'm going to be stretching them, you know, later on when I play. Um, and then you notice in the video, I also, I, I did play both of my uh, bass drum pedals. Getting your legs warmed up is a good portion of that as well. You wanna make sure that your your feet and your, your legs and your calf muscles, all of that, your shins especially, because you'll get, you'll get cramps in your shins. And then also uh, your thighs. You, uh, anybody who plays double bass, uh, especially if you sit for a long time, you'll notice you, you do get cramps in your thighs. Um, so I try to, I try to warm up my legs too, uh, maybe not as much as my hands because I'm not using them as much, obviously, but I do try to throw that in the warm up. So, so that's pretty much it for today. I uh, hope it was helpful and, uh, hopefully be back soon with another, uh, another educational video of, of something that's a little bit more technical, a little more, uh, fun. I know warming up is never fun. I do enjoy it, but most people don't care how you warm up. <laughs> so hopefully it was, uh, it was, uh, interesting video for you and I'll see you next time.